Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, is going bonkers in face of French President Emmanuel Macron's crackdown on radical Islamist groups. Macron has started the ongoing crackdown following the gruesome beheading of a history teacher, Samuel Patti, for showing the Charlie Hebdo cartoons as an example of freedom of speech. But Turkish president and wannabe Khalifa Erdogan seems to have suffered a major meltdown. He wants to punish France for taking a stand after Patti's brutal murder. And therefore, on Monday, Erdogan asked his countrymen to boycott French goods. However, the boycott call has done more harm to Turkey than to France. Turkish economy is already reeling under geopolitical tensions and conflicts. And the Turkish president's French goods boycott call further saw the Turkish leader hit a record low beyond 8.05 against the US dollar on Monday. Erdogan has said that Macron has a problem with Muslims and needs mental health checks. The unsavory remark has led to Paris recalling its ambassador from Ankara. However, Erdogan's call to boycott French goods seems to show that it is not Macron, but the Turkish president who might have to reassess his strategy. Turkey's leader is already under a lot of stress, in line with the general trend of a severe Turkish economic collapse. Erdogan has got Turkey trapped into way too many conflicts from Libya to Syria, Eastern Mediterranean and even Nagorno-Karabakh. And the consequences are showing in the form of weak currency, high inflation and declining investments. And then Erdogan's diplomatic standoffs with the US President Donald Trump and the Russian President Vladimir Putin have hurt the Turkish economy even more profoundly. Yet, the Turkish President doesn't seem to be even contemplating a real solution for the economic crisis. He has been whipping up false enthusiasm about so-called Turkish gas reserves in order to ensure that his utterly communal and populist brand of politics remains unscathed. Owing to Erdogan's bizarre policies and multiple wars, the Turkish lira has already lost 26% of its value this year. However, Turkey's economy now seems headed for yet another severe jolt as Erdogan tries to cross swords with his French counterpart. A local bank forex trader has been quoted by Al Jazeera as saying, the rising geopolitical tensions with the USA and EU are new sources of pressure weakening the leader. The other main elements are the questioning of monetary policy credibility and the adequacy of the leader yield. Even apart from leader, Turkey's dollar-dominated government bonds too have fallen by as much as 1.4%, while the main Istanbul share index has also declined by 1.2%. Turkey's geopolitical spats have made it an undesirable destination from an investor's perspective too. Foreign investors are not ready to park their funds in the Islamist country because there is no certainty as to when the Turkish president might drag his country into yet another war, inviting sanctions from powers like the US and the EU. Therefore, it is not a surprise that as per Turkey's central bank statistics, foreign investment in the Istanbul Stock Exchange has decreased sharply from 32.3 billion US dollars to 24.4 billion US dollars this year. Only as recently as 2013, the figure stood at a mammoth 82 billion US dollars. For the first time in the last 16 years, less than 50% of the stocks are owned by foreign investors. And now Erdogan's French goods boycott call is going to take away that many more investors and companies away from Turkey. The Turkish president is destroying his country's economy bit by bit. Erdogan can advise mental health checks to his French counterpart. But the way the Turkish president is destroying the Turkish economy seems to show that it isn't really Macron who needs mental checks.